our week five recap going down. Today's Monday, so there still is a game tonight, which we will eventually talk about. Ooh. But first and foremost, maybe the worst game of the season. Ooh. That was a close game. It was Thursday night football. It was the Colts. It was the Broncos. It was washed up Russell Wilson. It was washed up Matt Ryan going head to head. Two decent defenses. Wasn't it, was two terrible offense. Was it all field goals at uh, the end? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Every single score. Yeah. Yeah. Four field goals for the Colts, three field goals for the Broncos, and once again, Russell Wilson throws the Blue interception it. in the end zone, Blue which yeah. apparently we're talking about was like the same play that he threw the interception in the Super Bowl versus yep. the Patriots. Exactly, when they could have just ran it with Marshawn Lynch. I ain't going <laughs> to lie, bro. That's the first time that I've seen fans walk out of the stadium when their team could still win. Right, it was going yeah, overtime. overtime. That was so weird, bro. I'm like, dang, man, they really don't want to see Russell Wilson right now, bro. Like, no. Nah. I think Bronco fans are really let down this season. Yeah. Comment down below if you're a Broncos yeah. fan because like yeah. to leave a game like that, you just got like you have to have such high expectations be let down so bad. Yeah. So, Joe, Eric, you, I kind of heard you saying before, like, you're done with the Broncos. Tapped He's out. tapping out. Gave up. They were my Super Bowl team this year. They were? Yeah. Oh, I had man. high expectations with Russ. I thought that was the piece they needed. They have a great defense. I thought Javante Williams would break out this year. I thought they had good receivers. Yeah, he's not going to have a chance to do that. Actually. Yeah, he's hurt. He's gone. Yeah. Not that he's doing uh, anything anyways, but, like, yeah. Coaching that, also sucks. The coach uh, is terrible. Yeah, I'm out. I did not think Russ would be this bad. That was a – I don't think anybody did. To be yeah. honest, no. I thought maybe it could take time to click, but man, two interceptions, right? Man, two, two interceptions. They blow. Matt Ryan also had two interceptions, so like you guys know what type of game that that was. That it, it just really like two disappointing <clears throat> teams. Yeah. But Colts were able to come away with the win at the end. Uh, neither team deserved to win the game. Yeah. I, I mean, that's just how it was. If you guys watch it, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. Let's talk about a sick game real quick. Eli, you should be proud of your Giants. Hey. Oh wow! Coming yeah. back, they yes, were down sir. like seventeen three at one mm -hmm. point. Nice fourth quarter comeback. Saquon Barkley, uh, I'm going to officially say it is the best running back in the NFL. I've been like wow. saying this kind of for the – I was yes, kind of between him. Like Nick Chubb is still great and all. Saquon Barkley hey. is doing it by himself. My dog, man. Listen, bro. For real. I'm I don't serious. have my jersey anymore because we did a forfeit oh on gosh, our channel, so bro, sorry. and I had to burn it. That's why I'm wearing all red today, though. You know what I'm saying? For my big blue New York Giants, I don't wear blue. <laughs> 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 no cap. You look like a Falcons fan right now. Yeah, I do. We'll, uh, we'll talk about yeah, that again. Take this off. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, nah, man. I'm so proud of our team, bro. This is our actually the first time having this good of a record since 2009 when we went 5-0. and yeah, but um, So, this is crazy, bro. I don't know what to think, though, of you guys. We're, I, I, feel, I, feel I, like, know, I feel like people's eyes are open, but they're scared to admit that we might be a contender this year. This – this game really did prove something for the Giants because, yeah. like, you could argue that the first four games were a fluke, like, oh, those three wins were against bad teams. But yeah. the Packers are not a bad team. Exactly. So for them to be – and they're also 4-1. Yeah. Well, well yeah. I, I, mean, I kept saying, dude, if you shut down the Packers' run game, they're kind of screwed, and it was pretty much shut down yesterday. Yeah. So Yeah, they did a good job of that. Um, I just love the grit making that comeback, man. That, that made me so happy to see that, man. I was going to say, because we walked into the game, and it was – Three to seventeen, exactly, and then they score touchdown, exactly. touchdown. Yeah. I was exactly. like, wow. And um, yeah, man, they caught a spark. It they got it scary was really at sick. the end. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about with the whole safety. Like we got a we got a safety on purpose because we yeah. were like on the clock out, and then we punted the ball, and they could have easily like ran it back <laughs> on some stupid Deshaun Jackson. Remember that? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, oh one that of the greatest bad. plays ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, man, I'm proud of us, man. Good game. Yeah, I, I'll officially say I think we got to give the Giants a little bit of credit. They're in yep. such a good division, though. That's the one yeah. thing that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still yeah. going to be a tough road to make the playoffs. But, hey, you never know. This was, like, the one prove-it game that I needed to see the Giants do, and they ended up pulling through. So, like, I do got to give them a little bit of respect, even though I don't, like, love the Packers. But yeah. still, it's still a very big win for him. Hey, Titans and Commanders, Carson Wentz did it again. I, I literally was sitting there <laughs> watching it. He, yep. They needed what? Three yards? And they yep. threw it every single time. And I said, Carson Wentz is going to blow it. And sure he, enough, he, he literally blew it. Said that. He literally said that, and he blew it the next play. Oh, right? That was actually very funny. We were, we were weak. Like, oh, man. And then, but the thing is, I expected the Titans to do, uh, it kind of blow them out. I didn't expect this one to be close. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they passed the whole entire game. They Who, had the no, Titans? No, the uh, Commanders. Oh, okay. They had no run game whatsoever. And, and it, it was though, after getting yeah. shot. He scored a touchdown. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a lot of him. big plays that kept the Commanders in that game. Like, they had a 70 yard or 75 yard bomb. I'll say, like, Deami Brown yeah. um, had a really good game. Yep. He's a rookie. Also, they should he, be excited about him. He did him. not have a touchdown. Oh, he didn't. Yeah. I swear. He no, but he he had he had a seventy five yard play that got them into that like 
Like it's like those big plays is what kept them in the yeah. game. Dude yeah. had yeah. nine carries for twenty two yards, and I see him on no receiving list. You know what I'm saying? Dang, it must seventy five yards bomb to Diami Brown on a play. It was a play action play. That's not the guy that got. Talking about talking about the guy that the running back that got shot in the offseason. Dang, I swear he got. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken on that. So the guy that got shot, people were just excited because it's his debut. So like even though he didn't do too well, it's just the fact that he's able to play again. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shot, yeah. you know, um, right. A lot of people don't recover from those, man. So, so yeah, it's, it, it, was, it was cool to see him come I back. I still but. know what to think about the Titans. I'm not gonna Derrick lie. Henry had 132 rushing yards, Ooh. so like he was a, pretty much their whole offense. Yeah, like, I still don't think the Titans are great. I mean, I don't know. They're, I don't know. <laughs> is Derrick Henry still top five to you guys? Uh, he's having a down yeah. year, kind of. He is actually. To I me. think he, he still is. is I think five. he is. There's no running backs that are really doing yeah. great. Austin Eckler did really good again this week. Like it's yeah. Saquon Barkley, Nick Chubb, and then like, yeah. where do you want to go after that? So like, no I think order. Derek no Andrew order. Be. Who's you guys' top five running backs this year? Oh wow, oh, man, that's tough. I, like I mean, down, Saquon yeah. is leading the league. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. he Saquon. is leading. He league. looks the best to me. He like, does. He is number one. Like Chubb still has Kareem Hunt that's doing well. Probably Lamar Jackson. Yeah, Chubb. Lamar Jackson. I mean. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Like Dalvin Cook ain't doing like all that much. He's he's scoring a lot of he, touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no, hey. I don't know, it's a receiving game now to me. I running backs just yeah. don't seem like they're popping anymore. Like no, it's just all about the really receivers. Mm-hmm. I think the best running back w- running back game was back when the Giants had a mod Bradshaw and Brennan Jacobs. Do you oh, guys yeah. remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. That was oh crazy. yeah, crazy. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, that was, perfect. That mix. was fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's get this one out of the way. Bills, Steelers, literally. Oh my gosh, thirty-eight to three. Do we have to talk about that yet, man? Oh, man. That, to. Uh, I that was bad really guys. bad. That's a tough. Guy. I put money on a guy. I was supposed to win four hundred thousand dollars. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did a far. That's, one, that's one of the worst bucks. games I've ever seen by them. Yeah. I we we literally turned that game off because yeah. like that was. Uh, <sighs> Hey, tough. they're in trouble, man. They could very well go one and eight by, by their bye week. I'm gonna try to talk about this from like a non biased perspective. I do still think that the Bills are a next level above everybody else, and like this they game are. really did prove it. I mean, the Steelers Gabe, this year are ma- really good at making teams like look like very good, though, regardless yeah, of who they. It are. is, yeah. and like I mean, the secondary looks so bad. Giving Gabe Davis oh, two touchdowns, 160 so yards bad. before halftime, like like yeah, I picked the Steelers to win. I don't look like an idiot. Uh, it was just one of those games, man. Kenny Pickett coming in and like. Every year, like when people down on the Steelers and say they're done, they always come out the next week with a win somehow. And I was like, it's going to happen this time. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, no. No, that didn't happen. Um, yeah, they stink. Um, Mike Tomlin's on the hot seat to people. Yeah. Which, I don't know. In Mike a way, Tomlin's they don't be... fire their head coaches. And I went back to look at what was the worst season Bill Cowher had. And he six losses, actually. I thought he had a worse season than that. His worst season was six losses. Really quick, guys. I just looked at you guys' uh, upcoming games. It's, it's bad. Buccaneers, That's what I'm saying. We're gonna Dolphins, go w- Eagles, Saints, Bengals. We could yeah, go one and eight by the bye week. We're, right. This is we're, we're gonna have, y'all tough. We might have a top five pick in the draft for the first time <laughs> ever. <Might. laughs> yeah. Um, one thing too, which is pretty crazy, because like with T.J. Watt, obviously our defense is a massive. Uh, threat to the quarterback. We were getting sacks left and right. We didn't get a single sack on uh, Josh Allen. Uh, we only pressured him three times and that when game. He, when you did, he just ran it, man. Like, yeah, T.J. Watt, and he's it. supposed to come back now for a hot minute. Yep. And don't rush him back. What's the point? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, because we know what, what uh, Mike Tomlin likes to do because he doesn't want his losing season. We've seen whenever Ben Roethlisberger went out and got hurt, they traded away their first-round pick and got Minka Fitzpatrick and slipped into the playoffs. So I'm hoping they don't try to like make some like crazy move to like. I was gonna say that was ben just try to. Though. That was with Ben Roths. Well, that, that was when, when he got, got hurt. hurt yeah, that was after he got hurt. They traded for Minka Fitzpatrick and they tried to make a run. Yeah. I'm hoping they don't do that. Like this season to me is like a lost cause. It's a lost oh, it's a lost cause. cause. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which sucks because it's a new quarterback, right? And it's like yeah, you want him to have a good first again. season. I still, I mean, he's a rookie. It's his first start. I still see hope in him. I mean, it takes time to develop. To me, it was a good move to put him in because, to me, he looks a little bit better than Trubisky did to me. So, like, I don't think it's bad to have him in there. But The thing that's crazy is he had 330 passing yards that game. Oh, yeah, so and they, that was all garbage yeah, time. All I know. They couldn't yards. score. I, did yeah. you see NFL young boy George Pickens pushing – he, George Pickens, I've seen that. Count, he's, he's the like, only bright spot on the He team. really is. Yeah, he, he really is. To be is. honest, he really is. Like – all right, let me ask you guys this seriously now, because this is something I brought up a while ago. What are your concerns with Najee Harris? Like, actually? Uh, I think we need – I do think they need to put Jalen Warren. Right, that's his name, right? Yeah. yeah. I do think he should be getting more carries just to see. See, uh, 
this game was a very bad example for that because I saw one play. Well, it was a it was a quick three and out. It was first down they ran with Najee, got like two yards. Second down they brought in Jalen Warren, he ran it, he also got two yards. Yeah. So it wasn't. I don't know if that was necessarily a difference between the skills of the two running backs or if it was just that the Bills' defense was that good that game. I by no means want them to like sit Najee or anything. I just want them to give Warren maybe some more carries. Just yeah. Just kind of see. It's just like a comparison. I just like, I'm so scared. Like, I'm starting to see like Eddie Lacy comparisons whenever I watch him. Just uh, with his field vision and yeah, how he yeah. just misses open holes yeah. and like he's a bigger back kind of like Eddie Lacy. Yeah. The, the thing with the, if this is a if this is a lost cause season, there's no need to sit out Najee, you know? Like it's, well, it's like, I mean, it's like Miles really, well give him the ball, see what he can do. Well, if you really think he's good and you want to like salvage him because, man, like how many good years is he going to have? He's getting cracked like 25 times a yeah. game. Uh, yeah, you're not know, wrong. That, it, it, that's a fans, tough one. Steelers fans, look, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be the worst season that we've had in a very long time. Ever, I think. Uh, maybe. Ever had. Well, we haven't had we haven't well, I mean, like, a season in, in 20 in years. Our, in our lifetime. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. In our lifetime. Yeah. I have yeah. a question. Do you guys remember how you guys did in 2007 and 2011? Or no? Fantastic. It was, it was good. <laughs> you got it good? Wait, oh, wait. Okay. 2010 was – or 2009 is when we went to the Super Bowl, right? Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if there's any correlation of when the Giants do good if you do guys do bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we Well, when good. we won the Super Bowl both times, the, the next year I think we won 8-8. Eight and eight. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. Yeah. Um, next game, which was a really close one, was Chargers and Browns, thirty to twenty eight. It came down to um it came down to actually Jacoby Brissett muffing an interception. And then it came down to the Browns, Cade York missing a field goal. Like the Browns, truthfully, this is actually a really good game to watch. Like it was an exciting it game was. to watch. It was a battle of Austin Eckler and Nick Chubb. And both of them did great. <laughs> I called it. I said Eckler was going to have his spark this week, and there it was. Dude, it was just so funny watching him on that one breakaway run, just seeing his little leg. Yeah. Yeah. His legs yeah, yeah, are yeah, so yeah. tiny. I was, was going to get tracked <laughs> out. I was, yeah. get, I was mad, too, because he, he gets to the end zone and didn't score. Yeah, I was like, like oh, his oh, nickname is Centipede from now on. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> centipede, <laughs> yeah. He has no stride. <laughs> um, I, I want to say it again. Like Mike Williams is stepping up like – consistently now yeah. for the first time and it's very impressive the yeah. best jump ball receiver yeah. in the nfl and he's doing it every single mm -hmm. week he had yeah. three incredible catches yeah he's looking like yeah, he, he got he's 10 looking. 10 for 13 targets really 134 yards. because like chargers fans you guys know like he'll have a great game and then you won't hear of him for like a couple weeks yeah but now he's like really moving into that number one role i, I feel like last year he was consistent for like a few weeks and he dumped off yeah, we were, it, we were talking whole, about him last year. It's been his year. whole career, and that's, like, always how I've seen him. So now it's, like, I don't know. He's kind of establishing himself after he got paid. So it seems like it's a good move by by the Chargers. But truthfully, though, the Browns, at the end, they should have won. The Chargers did get away with it. Yeah. yeah. Another true. absolutely crazy game. Saints and Seahawks, 39-32. to 32. Yeah. Freaking Taysom Hill, dude. Yes, Who would have thought? I, that run, I literally was just smiling. I'm like, damn, I think I want to be a Saints fan right now. <laughs> not Hill, not <laughs> saying, but that was a crazy run, bro. Kind of looking like the old Taysom, man. Really? Yeah, that's, no, that's, yeah. That's exactly yeah, what I was He had 112 yeah. rushing yards. And, and the, he's been scoring. So, like, <clears> he's kind of coming back a little bit. He's done some other stuff this season, too. But this was, like, his big game without a doubt. Like, he won it for him. I was going to say, yeah. he, sure. he became one of just three players since 1950 with three-plus rushing touchdowns, 100-plus rushing yards, and a passing touchdown in a single game. Yeah, the other wow. two were Ronnie Brown and Lindanian Tomlinson. You forgot about Eli Mack, but, yeah, yeah. Eli Mack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kamar finally had a good game. Yeah, he still doesn't look the same. He had 100, 100 rushing yeah. yards and 91 receiving yards. Yeah, he he definitely stepped it off. I don't know. There's just something that just – Kamara's been exactly off my radar since, like, like, 2018, 2019. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he definitely helped out for sure. But it's, like, it's Seattle's defense. I'm kind of shocked with how many points Seattle's been putting up the past couple weeks. It's pretty uh, yeah. impressive, actually. Geno Smith had – one of the best passes of the year to Tyler Lockett in the end zone. That was phenomenal. And, like, mm -hmm. quadruple coverage. That was great. Yeah. Seattle's playing better than I thought they would this season. I'm gonna th I'll throw way. that out. Kenneth Walker really did step up for uh, Rashard yeah. Penny. Yeah, he, he had did. the yeah. big run that he got him, game. like, in back into the game after Penny because Penny's out for the rest of the year. So, you're gonna, well. you guys are going to see, like, uh, people are really excited about Walker. So, mm -hmm. now he's going to have his chance to, like, prove it if he's that guy or not. So, yeah. Very true. Next game, which we should have we looked into this before picking our – 
teams. It was uh, Texans and Jaguars, yeah, thirteen to six. Read the stat before the Texans before this game were uh, they had won their last eight games against the Jaguars. Oh. So now it is nine games. Oh. So like, wow, that's the type of stats where you see yeah. that and you're like, yeah. I have to pick. See, them, see, right? I go to the casino a lot and like I play this game called Baccarat and like. How it works is basically, you, like, if, if if something's on a hot streak, bro, you stay with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If red is winning, you don't you don't go to the player and bet. Yeah. You just stay Which on red. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Joe does the exact opposite in, uh, in roulette. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Like if it hits red five times, around. dude, I'm going black. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, <laughs> we get our money back. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is the thing that I like. I was in the back of my head, like I said, whenever we were doing it, like the Jaguars, we don't actually really know if they're a good team or not. So whenever they were favored by, it was like seven points. It's kind of, it's kind of a scary thing. You'd be like, all right, they're going to be able to back this up. And they didn't. And Trevor Lawrence, again, more t turnovers, two interceptions from him. Coming off the four fumble game. This <sighs> this was a game where the Jaguars they racked up yards but not points. So yeah, that's um, and then yeah. the Texans on the other hand they played mistake free football. So yeah, they really yeah. showed yeah. that yeah. Davis Mills didn't do anything flashy. I think he had like 140 passing yep. yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions though. It's yeah. mm -hmm. important, very um, important. And that, uh, sometimes that's all it takes. Is no yeah, turnover. 13 to six game. Yeah. Derek Stingley Jr. gets his first career interception. So and him and Sauce both in the same week. Yeah, uh, both got their first picks. So that, that 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 nine game win streak is the longest winning streak versus the Jaguars by any team. So, wow. so next oh, time man. they play each other this next season, time. is it is it all Texans? I'll put, we're gonna I, see I, that I'll put money on that game. I'm yeah. putting my life savings on that one. Oh, well, OK. Nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, next, we have the Bucks and the Falcons. Twenty one fifteen Bucks won. Bad call. Yeah. Let's just yeah. talk about what the passer. Yeah. Talk about. That, Bad that, call. That, that was definitely a sack. That was not. I rewatched that clip like. 20 times to sit, like really try to be like to be on the ref side. I couldn't yeah. do it. Yeah. That was really bad. Yeah, yeah. bad. He didn't call. land on him or any like. And this is where it gets sketchy though because Tom Brady now remains undefeated against the Falcons. So it's that's like how the much of that, that is the ref? Yeah. You know? That's how much of that I like is the ref? brought that up because man, like who knows? Right? Because yeah. we, we Tom Brady has a history with the refs. He has a history with the Flategate. It's like how much of that? Because that game meant that it's meant a lot to both teams. I mean, the yeah. Falcons came back too, and their defense stepped up because the Bucks didn't score like any points the second half. Yeah, and it's not even just that either. But like, whenever a bad call like this mm. happens, I immediately go directly to the sports betting, mm. like with referees and like yeah. big like mm -hmm. people that have huge money on the game. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you never know. Like this stuff happens, and I'm sure yeah. it is happening. But people aren't getting caught. I mean, yeah, it's I, definitely I, going on. It definitely happens a lot in boxing. Is. I know that uh, tennis. I, I think people underestimate and think it doesn't really happen in basketball and football, but yeah, uh, it does. It trust. does. It does. Yeah, and it, it, it comes. It, this is the type of thing that it will come out in like 35, 40 years, you know, yeah, and yeah. then it's like it's too late now to do anything. Yeah. So nobody really cares. But but yeah, I mean, the Buccaneers, again, they're just not impressive at all. Nah. Nope. Yeah. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't. Yeah. It, it was in the first half. And then this goes back to the Falcons playing one good half of football, you know? Which they've done yeah. all season. Pretty much. Yeah. Which they've mm -hmm. literally done all season. It's been like one good half, one bad half. Yep. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. The Buccaneers just seem very unmotivated to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, surprising game. Jets, Dolphins, 40-17. Yeah, how did Jets put up 40 Ooh. points against the Dolphins' defense? Oh, Brees Hall. Brees Hall. Brees Hall is That's a star. Disgusting, Crazy dude. game. Brees Hall. And, um... That's why I didn't want to jump on the Dolphins like like this. I know two is gone. They had a third string quarterback, rookie quarterback, rookie quarterback. Oh, he's um, a rookie, Skyler Thompson. Yeah, dang. But um, I mean, it, and to be honest, Teddy Bridgewater would have came back in the game had it what happened to Tua because yeah. apparently he got cleared of his concussion. But they have a new protocol right now where I guess <clears> if it's like a risk at all, then they're out for the game. It happened to Pat Fryermuth. Um, yeah, Chris Olave got a concussion. There's a bunch of players it was, that got concussions. And, it, and the thing that sucks, it was the first play for the Dolphins. Yeah. He got hit out of the game, and then Skyler Thompson came in. So, I mean, but, like, you got to give the Jets credit because – they're the uh, Dolphins' defense didn't have anything to do with that, and they could not stop the Jets. That's what I'm Jets saying. Put up That's why I'm yeah. mind blown yeah. by that. Yeah. 40, 40 points. points. That's I thought a huge the Dolphins number. had a great defense, and they do that. And here comes the New England Patriots going to try to squeak by the Dolphins and uh, yeah. take that number two spot. Yeah. They had five rushing touchdowns against the Dolphins. Yeah, that's kind of that's crazy to me. They had they had one going into that game. Maybe the Dolphins <laughs> don't have a good front seven because that's why I thought they would beat the Bengals. I thought that they'd be, be able to get to Burrow and they couldn't. Uh, it's the Dolphins secondary that I really like, but um, 
I mean, their front seven shouldn't be terrible, to be honest. But any word on Tua? Is he, like, done-done career-wise? Yeah, I mean, they're actually, they're talking about how he actually might not play ever again, so I don't oh know. God. That's, that's yeah. it's insane. Yeah. Um, Next game, Vikings-Bears, 29-22. Vikings took the dub. Kirk Cousin had a very hot start to that game. Oh, yeah. 17, yeah. 17 or something yeah. like that. Yeah, 17 uh, passes. That's a team record. Mm-hmm. Would you say J.J. went cray-cray? J.J. went cray-cray. 12 receptions for 154 yards. That was all in the first half, pretty much. Dalvin Cook went crazy as well. Like, yeah. I don't understand how that game was so close. The Vikings just yeah, let the – the Bears literally – I don't know if you've seen or not. The Bears literally took the lead. Oh, yeah, know. yeah. The Bears came back from down huge, scored 22 points. I think they were up 22-21 at mm-hmm. the end of the game. Yep. Wow. And then the Vikings, I don't know who was on defense, stripped the receiver of the Bears. It was, was it, it was a really good game. It kind of looked like NFL Street. It did. He, yeah. like, literally grabbed it <laughs> off him when he was yeah. still running and, yeah. and, like, kind of took it for some more yards. Not that won the game for the Vikings. But yeah. the Bears were, like, in the situation to actually win the game at which the end, insane. which is like, crazy. Justin Fields threw for a season high. High of 208 yards. Yeah. Season high. That's it. <laughs> For you fantasy guys, I think I think JJ had 30 points. Was it? Yeah, 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 I have him on my yeah. fantasy yeah, team. Yeah. He, he did crazy. Yeah, he's yeah. crazy. And yeah. Dalvin Cook was, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know how that game was that close. That's insane to me. Yeah, that is crazy. It's Vikings defense, they, they question. I question them, but. Yep. They got me negative two points in fantasy. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> game we also had completely wrong. Patriots and Lions, 29 nothing. That's what I'm saying. The Lions put up like 30-plus points a week and then go from that to oh, yeah, zero. I what, I, this is one of the most disappointing picks of my season so far, Patriots, picking the Lions. Yeah. You, you were kind of heavy on it, too. I kind of – I like the Patriots a little bit. And, like, I why – I would the only reason why I didn't stick with them is because they have a third-string quarterback. But we even seen with that third-string quarterback that schematically they could get it done. Say, and, like – But zero points. Is Bailey Zappi, like, good? Yeah. 17 for 21 on 188 yards, and he threw he threw a pick, but it wasn't his fault. Well, what's really good is that run game where Madre Stevenson did really yeah. well. It's just like, even though he doesn't throw for a ton of yards, how effective they are in the short passing game. Mm-hmm. Like, they pick up, they're, they're able to run a lot of clock. They have the time of possession quite a bit. You know, they pick up first downs slowly but surely, yeah. and they just kill the game off. They don't make mistakes. That's why the Patriots are like have a chance to always be in any game. They they have a good formula. Yeah. All they, their formula is mm-hmm. the best. Yep. Yeah. Crazy game, man. Is that the only donut zero game? Zero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah somebody. Jared that does, that never happens. That never laugh. happens. Naked yeah. laugh for Jared Goff. Yeah. Yeah. The whole team. Yeah. 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 The whole team. Jeez. Jared, Jared, watch. Jared Goff <laughs> is four of twelve on passing for ninety yards. Four That's for insane. 12? Yeah. They only passed it twelve times when they were down the whole time. That's yeah. yeah that's what were they doing? The heck happened? <laughs> their their <laughs> offense saw they were. With, they I was going to say that is terrible. They were possession. without DeAndre Swift and uh, DJ Chark, and they had um, I'm on I'm Ross St. Brown on a pitch he count. He so only had like four catches, but yeah, um, yeah. This actually just doesn't make sense, really. I'm, I'm just going to give all the credit to the Patriots. They figured out how to stop mm-hmm. that Lions offense that nobody's been able to figure out. Yet. Do we know who they play next week? The Detroit Lions. No, or the, the Patriots. Because. I will say after this performance, I am kind of. That's that's one I'm curious. If they can beat the Browns, I might hop on. That's another one I actually don't know who I would pick in that game. Yeah, me neither. That's still yeah. Out, yeah. Cause like if they can shut down the Browns' run game, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Next game, 49ers Panthers, 37-15. I'll say it right here. We are the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> Panthers, that. Sucked that blue, and it came out today that Matt Rule is fired. We have a whole video about that talking about it, but Matt Rule was gone. I don't think he was necessarily the reason they were losing so bad. I don't think he was helping at all. But yeah, the 49ers just absolutely took this game away. The Panthers could not move the ball on offense. Their defense, which has I've been high on for the last few weeks, did not show up against the 49ers. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give Jimmy G and the 49ers the credit. I'm really they happy, man. The, the past two weeks from the 49ers exactly oh, what I've been good. hoping but for. But they did lose yeah. their corner for the year. Mosley's out. Okay. Uh, Jeff, Wilson, Jeff Wilson had a good game. Yeah. They always have a good run. And Bosa got injured, didn't he? For a, at least for a yeah. little bit. I think yeah. we talked his about isn't that whenever. His isn't too severe. Um, right? Yeah, it's really exciting, though. I mean, besides the Eagles, the 49ers look like the best team in the NFC to me, which is that's a, this is exactly what I'm hoping for. Uh, it's not. Uh, what is it? They're three and three two. And two. Three and two. Um, um, yeah, not. It's 
I, I, I that after watching that first drive, I knew the game was over. It was <laughs> six plays for sixty-five yards. It's like every single play was a ten-yard yeah. play. And that's how it was with that the was, Steelers yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's over in the first minute. <laughs> and literally, <laughs> we turn on the game and it's like oh, it's seven to zero. Like three and the Bills zero. have the ball in like our ten-yard line. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. my hope in the Panthers is is fading away, especially the, the Baker injury. It's like they they have a lot that they need to fix in order to start get, getting the ball rolling. Um, next game we have, <laughs> oh man, you Eagles and Cardinals. I almost Ooh. called it. It came down to freaking what's their backup kicker's name because Matt Prater was out. Yeah, uh, and know. they showed the thing that sucked. This field goal, it came down to a field goal. If they would have made the field goal, it went into overtime. And I think if the Cardinals would have got that ball, they would have won that game. But they showed a preview of the dude in in warmups kicking the field goals wide right. Wide right, wide right. Yeah. Snaps the ball. What's it do? Wide right. It was a long yeah. field goal. It was like 40 some yards. So. Oh, man. So, Eagles remain the only undefeated team in the NFL, 5-0. and Crazy. I think in Jalen Hurts with, with zero interceptions, like you said, mistakes lose games. And the fact that they, they have They play no the mistakes, Cowboys next, though. That's oh, yeah. That, that's going to be that's Cooper Rush versus Jalen yeah. Hurts. Then they play the Steelers. Wasn't Jalen Hurts wearing something like "God bless my haters"? Yeah, going yeah, into yeah, that yeah, game, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he got. Well, he even two, said in his two press conference, touchdowns. dude, he was like, "I don't want to hear five no. Like you guys were down on us when we were two and five. Like hop off the bandwagon or something like yeah. that." <laughs> oh, yeah, the Eagles, the Eagles, the Eagles D looked pretty good, but oh, they have a good defense. the cart. <sighs> man, I don't know. That was that was a game. I just had a feeling that the Cardinals were going to win that, and. I was on this right. They had a chance. Uh, the Eagles chance. are not an unbeatable team. No. Yeah. There's no, like, crazy no unbeatable team, team. I mean, the Bills look like it just because of what happened. But yeah, but we even see we've they, seen they them. Make they I make mistakes. They make mistakes. I don't even think us Giants played them yet. <sighs> no, I don't no. think so. So we got them two times this year. Yeah. Yo, oh, if yeah. the New York Giants beat the Eagles both times, what are you saying, man? What are you saying, man? Let's get there first, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we had the Cowboys and Rams. I told you, Cowboys 10. defense, dude. Right yeah. off rip, dude. Freaking fumble six. They block a punt. Like I told, yeah. Cowboys defense is the reason why I've been picking them week in and week out. They're in, the best defense in the league to me. It's they're playing lights out. Yeah, I'm not arguing that at all. I, yeah, they do. They definitely do. Just manage to get it done. The block punt, the sack. Was it a sack fumble six or something? Mm-hmm. Like it was it. Um, Hooker with the interception. Cooper Rush, he only had 100 yards, but no picks. I was going to say, he literally had, like, and this is that was my concern. I'm just like, he doesn't get yards at all. Like, at halftime, he had 50 passing yards. Maybe not even. And, like, that was always my concern because I just see that offense at times. I feel like they can stall out. But, I mean, Pollard did well. Like, if they can establish the running game. Stafford threw his interception of the game, you know, like always. Yeah, that's true. That's really what it is. It's just. Their their offense put him in the hole that game, yeah. I guess I can't believe the Cowboys were the underdog of that game. Well, I just, with Cooper Rush only not getting a lot of yards, how deep can that take them into the playoffs can't. against these high-powered? The Rams are struggling, dude. Their defense yeah. isn't even. Yeah. Yeah. He's, like, he's saying the Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys, yeah. <laughs> Like how like how deep can they actually get? I don't know, man. Their, exactly. their defense That's, is their defense is gonna have to just win the whole thing. It reminds me of the Jacksonville Jaguars in twenty seventeen. That's the thing though, like yeah. when they had that insane defense and yeah. then the offense they yeah, had. Yeah, but Blake, Blake Bortles, Bortles like actually didn't do that bad that season though. I mean until yeah. the playoffs. Well, people rush ain't doing that bad. I know he's not moving the ball fantastic. There's gonna come like, some games where he's gonna have to like he's gonna have to drive in like two fifty. Like, yeah. yeah, that that'll happen, and that, I'm interested to see. You. I mean, he has so much help though. I mean. The Cowboys are a sick team, man. The no, NFC East yeah. is crazy this year. There's a, a weird stat, which is the Rams have scored 80 points over their first five games, which is the fifth fewest by a reigning Super Bowl champion in history, and have and they have a losing record for the first time after week two of any season during the Sean McVay era. Okay, can, can we just talk about the NFL? Can you please stop making these weird records, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah, are there were some crazy <laughs> ones we were talking about they but, brought up. Yeah, uh, like, I don't like, remember what game, but the, it was The first quarterback to eat a Pop-Tart before the game until six <laughs> 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 That was so crazy. <laughs> and then we have this, the Sunday night game, which is the Ravens Bengals 19-7. That was 17. a good one. That was a defensive battle, in my opinion. That was... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the Ravens' defense looked really, really good. Yeah. Yes, Freaking um, Patrick I mean, Queen. Bengals' defense, they definitely held Lamar Jackson in check. There were times where he looked like he was about to take off, but they got him down. Yeah. It, it was they left Mark impressive. Andrews wide open on that one, that oh, one touchdown. Oh, Lamar Jackson. 
He's passing way better this year, but there was like two passes. He had a dude wide open yeah. for a touchdown, yeah. and he missed it. He I missed him. Like, dude. Yeah. 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 Um, Which, I mean, that happens. He's definitely improved this year. It's opened my eyes a little bit, but yeah, Pat plays like that. I'm like, dude, come on. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm going to say it's nice to have the best kicker in the NFL. Yeah, he Justin saved. Tucker, he like, won them that game. I think this style was now he's made 59 kicks in a row in the fourth quarter and in overtime. Yeah, Jeez. literally insane. Yep. Yeah, insane. Oh, uh, and then the the other thing, real quick, I just want to bring up real fast. I think Joe Burrow is not like he's like almost there, but he's not there yet. There's like some things that I I feel like I'm seeing in his game that he needs to like get over this hump to like get to that potential like top five quarterback that I thought he might have already been at. Yeah. But there's just a few things that I that I see with this game that I feel like he needs to just like work on and improve a little bit to like really get to that elite mm-hmm. elite status. Well, what do you think like the main thing is for you that you've seen? Uh, I he feel holds like on to the ball for a long time, yeah. which is why some of those sacks do happen. Yeah. I feel so. like, like the hardest things for quarterbacks coming into the game is like reading these NFL defenses because they have all kinds of different schemes. Some people are in man, some people are in zone. These zones go here, like yeah. being able to like look off different players on defense to open up other receivers. There's a so it's so complex it goes yeah. so deep but like these like little minuscule things which I I really do feel like he'll get to that point but uh, yeah. I don't know, there's just some small things so I want to like slow down a little bit on Joe Burrow. Man. Did you see that kick by McPherson that went that over? That was crazy. That was directly over the, the upright. It's right the right. NFL rule. So it is. I know, but it was just like to place it right there. Oh, Should that was they insane. They make a rule where they make the field goal post taller. Or like this is the second time I've seen it happen. It happened last year. Bro, what if what if they made it taller and they made it a box so you have to kick oh. it under the oh, under the top man. cross? That's bar. how that's that how uh, the I indoor like football it. was in the Pittsburgh like Power. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, it's yeah. I wouldn't box. like that. I wouldn't crazy. like that. I don't think it should have to be at like that'd low. be a cool video. <laughs> but like if you made it, they made it higher. There would be no controversy ever. Yeah. You would know if it went in or yeah. not. I just thought that. Yeah, was no, but if it was like dead center and it went above but that bar and they said it's no good because it was too like high, that, I would hate that. That would be ridiculous <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, they they want controversy though because if they did if they didn't want controversy, they'd fix down two guys holding a pylon for the first down. You know. Yeah. yeah, like they have the technology to make it it's so good. accurate. How do they know he like? Did the ref just look up and he just know that it was good? And like, how, how do they? Ah, uh, yeah, it, like it's that. Not, it's because we were doing it for that your not uh, be easy. field goal yeah, video, yeah, and yeah. I was yeah. looking. I'm like, yeah. it, the one kick went over on that side. I'm looking. I was like, was that good or not? And he's yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, can't really tell. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. once they say yes or no, can they reverse that? Or no? I've never they seen can, it happen. They can. They can't reverse the one from last night because it went over. That's un like reversible, but they can. That, uh, that's the thing. If they go, if let's just say that was for the game, though, that's huge controversy. I don't know. The more that I think about it, like <laughs> having an open field goal post, like you think about it, like basketball, soccer, it's all like there's no controversy at all. Yeah. If it's too high, too what off to the side, it's no good. Like, but in football, it's if it's a field goal, I don't know. I'm just saying. It, I'm like, not against I'm thinking it, about yeah. it. It's actually making sense. I don't like. Imagine I don't like the idea of it being too high. You don't. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll imagine though, like the NFL was always like that, where it was a square, and they're like, "Oh, let's take off the top bar." That would make less sense. Yeah. yeah. To me, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't. I like actually that. like. You could raise them higher, but to put te- make it so it has to be low. I don't. Go like in the comments. Like what that. you guys think? Uh, I actually really like that. I could change the. I mean, it would change the game. But yeah. NFL hire us. We got some good ideas. <laughs> That's a thought. But uh, we got the Monday night game tonight, which is why my Raiders and Chiefs. Raiders and Chiefs. I got the yeah. Chiefs. I mean, yeah. Chiefs are just Chiefs Chiefs is playing good. lights out, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think this is a gimme, though. I don't think it's a gimme. I mean, it's a division game. It's not a gimme. Yeah. If the Raiders win, though, they're back in talk. I'll say that. That's for yeah. sure. I mean, talk uh, yeah, about it. Uh, I, I did pick the Raiders in this one. I don't feel great about it after like doing further research on how the games last year went. Yeah. Um, and with how not great that the Raiders look, but like it's a divisional game. Like who knows? You never know. Yeah, I'm hoping one of these days the Raiders click a little bit because I think they have still have potential with how bad. So this is disappointing week in football. Power rankings. I don't know what to do. What do I do with the Dolphins? What do I do with the Jets? That's what I'm what saying. I'm saying. I don't know. What to do. Every Jets week. put up forty on the Dolphins. Like what does that mean now? <laughs> I don't know. Packers lost. What are the Giants at? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. The best team in the league. Oh, stinks. Patriots, the Patriots, Lions, Lions, yeah. yeah. See, th- th- this is a lot tougher than it looks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look forward to our power rankings, boys. It's going to be a this doozy. one's going to be something, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, see you later. All right, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs>